Hi, and welcome to a catch up with me video. You know, it seems so funny saying that because I've not done a catch up with me video in I don't know how long. If you are familiar with my YouTube channel, I do have a section that says catch up with me and I haven't done a video where I'm sitting in, actually in front of a camera in my studio, i.e. filming room doing a video where I just share with you things that are going on in my life, things that I'm doing and what have you. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do that today. Or whenever I have some things going on that I want to share with you all, then I will do that. Now, I'm not going to say as the weather gets colder that I'm going to continue to sit out here in this truck and do these catch up with me videos. But today is a great day, so I figure why not? Happy Thursday, you guys. One more day and then the weekend is here. So let's see, what do I have on my list? So the first thing I wanted to talk about is my sister and I, we went, we stopped at a gas station at a Wawa, actually uh, not last weekend, yeah, last weekend. And this guy gave us his card and the name of his business is New Look Trucking and Mobile Fuel. I've never heard of them. And it's, he's, it says, yes, we come to you, serving Prince George's County, Montgomery County, Maryland. They have their phone number. You can call the day for daily gas rates, delivery fee, applicable to each order, day and night services, uh, wet hose fueling, fleet services, residential and business. And this is what the front of their card looks like. And that tr this truck right here that you see, that's what we saw at the gas station. He was filling up the barrels on the back of that truck with gas. And so they deliver gas to you how awesome is that and it says welcome to your new favorite service mobile gas delivery is making its way to you at your home or business imagine the convenience of never having to visit the gas station again let us bring the fueling station to you and like i said i just think it's an uh, an awesome thing where you need gas and let's say maybe you don't have enough gas one of the things i love about newer cars is that i can hit that little button and even if that needle is on the red mark which is very rarely is i can push it and see how much gas I have and how far I can drive on it. Because even when that needle's on the red, sometimes that thing says that I can drive like 50 miles. I'm thinking, mm, okay. I wouldn't push it, but that's what it tells me that I can do. But I think this is very innovative. I love it. And they will bring the gas, like I said, directly to your home, to your job, wherever you may be. God forbid you break down on the side of the road. I hope that doesn't happen. But you can call these people if you're in the DMV area. Well, excuse me, the PG County... <coughs> oh, sorry, y'all. Sinus is acting up. The uh, PG County and Montgomery County, they will come and bring you your gas. So I'll put their information in the description box so you can reach out to them it, should you choose to. Okay? But I think you should. Next on my list, I am... Oh, so I'm waiting for an interview with She Heals the World as a partner coach. I came across them on Instagram and they were looking for individuals that were interested in being coaches with their organization. And of course I said, sure, why not? And so I did hear back from the lady a couple of days ago via email and she said that the person that does the interviews has been quite busy but just you know just hold on they have me on the radar and they go they're going to excuse me set me up with an interview and you know because everything else that i put down because they do ask you about yourself like who who are you what do you do and i let them know that i am a certified life coach and all of the things that i do a motivational speaker all that other good stuff and she said well i think you would be a great fit you know, so I'll have Dr. Satterwhite, I think is her name. She's going to reach out and, um, you know, do the interview with you as soon as she's free. So I don't know if it's going to be prior to Thanksgiving or maybe we have to push back till next month. I'm not sure. But so far, like I said, I love what I see in their organization. So I'm super excited about that. Number three. So I've already started looking at planners because if you know me, then you know I am a serious, happy planner girl. I love happy planners. And I've already started thinking about how many planners I'm going to use for 2023. So I have what I call my main planner or my catch-all. And that's where everything pretty much goes into that. If I have an appointment of any kind, Let's say I had a speaking engagement, you know, I worked out or whatever. I, I just use that to jot things down in. 
And so I have to have that. So I will have that. I am going to get my fitness, get another fitness planner from Happy Planner. I wasn't at first, I was thinking, well, you know what, Michelle, you could always just, and I'm still thinking about it because I don't know, but I could always use my catch-all planner and you have three rows of boxes. So I could use one row for my content planning. I could use one for my to-do list. And then the other one I could use for my health and wellness list. I actually could do that and save some money and time having to deal with, with several planners. So like right now I have my catch-all planner. I have my health and wellness uh, planner. I have my content planner where I, you know, write in the topics of my subjects for my YouTube videos, as well as my podcast and, and anything like that. And uh, cause I do a podcast on anchor and a wisdom talk. So I'm trying to keep up with all of that. And so what else? And then I wanted to get a planner where I can just write the things that I'm grateful for in, in my planner. And so, like I said, we'll, we'll see about that. So that would be four planners. Because I think this year I have four. I know I have a fifth pl a planner, but I'm not sure what the heck the, the fifth one was for. I can't even think of it off the top of my head. But anyway, like I said, I'm really, really, really thinking about <sighs> scaling back to maybe just two planners. Definitely, I need the, the fitness planner, the health and wellness that they have. And I need my catch-all. So I'm thinking about scaling back to two. But anyway, I'll think about that. The fourth thing on my list, I've decided that I will be going back to the gym in January. I did decide that I've, I've had enough time off. And yes, I do have my spinning bike. And I can go to my sister's house and get on her treadmill. But I'm kind of ready to, to go back to the gym. Because I've been pay paying my little $10 a month to Planet Fitness. Which I can actually see right across the street from my house but i have been paying my membership i just have not been going you know because of covid but i will definitely have to come up with a plan for when i want to go because i my goal is to be in there when i don't have to worry about being around a whole lot of people so that's either going to be early in the morning maybe around lunchtime or later on at night so i'll have to work that out but i did come to that decision Next on my list, um, this month's podcasts will be about being thankful and grateful because this is a month. And not that I'm not thankful and grateful every day of the year. Let's be clear because I am. But I do want to focus mostly on that this month. And so I need to actually finish up my notes for this Saturday's podcast because that's what I want to talk about just because I think it's so important. You know, we, excuse me because my sinuses are draining. We get so caught up in this holiday season with sales and all that other good stuff and all that's fine i'm not knocking it it is fine but I, I definitely want to make sure that i remember to to be thankful for what i already have as i look forward to getting new things and i i am every day i told y'all every day that i wake up I, before i ask god for anything and sometimes I forget to even ask him for anything, but it's all right because he knows what I need. But but I wake up and I just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for waking me up this morning in my right mind. I thank you for waking me up with a roof over my head. I, I thank you that I can go outside and I have not one, but two vehicles that I can get into, Lord, one of which is paid for. And come next Friday, I only have two more years left on the other one, Lord. I thank you for being able to have a team that I can count on. I have a great uh, coach and mentor in Bob Yates and Miss Annetta Wilson. And I just, I'm thankful to be surrounded by the people that you've put in my life, oh God. And I mean, my list just goes on and on and on. I'm thankful for my job, Lord. I'm thankful for my business. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to speak life into those persons who are just barely hanging on sometimes. And the reason I know this is because people have shared their stories with me. And it's so heart-wrenching when you think that there are people in this world 
that sometimes they just want to take their lives because they're so unhappy. But I'm thankful that I get to speak life into them. So my list just goes on and on and on. So we'll be talking about being thankful and being grateful and all of that other good stuff. And then I had a note here to make sure that you are subscribed, you guys, to my YouTube channel and my podcast. I'll list, list all of that in the description box because I want you all to make sure that you are following me and that you are able to, to get my content on uh, YouTube, Instagram. I'm on Wisdom. I'm also, and y'all feel bad because I've been so busy. I haven't done a Wisdom talk in a while, but I'm going to get one in and I do need to sit down and actually develop a schedule because I, I don't have time to do it every day. Let me not say that. My time is such that I'm doing so many different things. And if you're not careful, you can get burnt out trying to speak life into other people because I've been down that road. So I don't want to overdo it. That's why I only do my podcast on Saturday because it's too much for me to try to do it every day of the week. Could I record? Of course I could. Do I always have content? Of course I do. But sometimes it just gets to be overwhelming because I do have to work, right? So I just want to make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, my podcast, and I wanted to point out that Circle of Champions and Women in Business Network, Bob is getting the Women in Business Network back up and running. I think it's phenomenal. I'll put the the website information in the description box because I want you all to go and check that out. It is just a phenomenal thing. I know that we have, I believe there's an event coming up next week. The Friday and Saturday is a live event. I know that. So I believe it's Wednesday, Thursday, and then we'll be live here in Largo Friday and Saturday. So I'll put that information because you have to register. And next I said I will be recording a yoga slash relaxation video that I'll be sharing sometime next week. So I'm gonna try to get that recorded over the weekend so that I can get it out to you next week. And I'll be doing a cooking video with my good friend Brian sometime this month. The goal is to get it done before Thanksgiving because after that, I know he's going to get very busy. So I want to make sure we get that done sooner rather than later. My mom and I, we put our fall flowers in the yard yesterday because let me tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not planting real flowers because I'm not coming out here to water anything. So I went to Dollar Tree, found some beautiful fall foliage. We put them in the flower pots and it's absolutely gorgeous. Plus, I put my fall wreath on the door, which is really just um, a burlap wreath, and I found two bows that have the pretty fall colors in them at the Dollar Tree. And I tied one to the top, one to the bottom, so I am absolutely loving it. And uh, so, just a reminder, this is a new month, which means new ideas, new eye goals, new eye goals, what is that? new ideas, new goals, new opportunities. So I need you all to make sure that you are opening yourself up to all of these new things. Make the best of this month. I don't want you missing out on anything. Do you hear what I have to say? I don't want you missing out on nothing. And then next, oh, last but not least, y'all, I couldn't wait to tell you this. Mm, there is a song that is really moving me right now. And I wanted to share this with you because this is so powerful. And I love the beat, y'all. The beat just makes you, just has you rocking in your seat. But but this song, the words are just so powerful. And the song is called Bless Me. And it's by Kirk Franklin and the Maverick City Music. And and basically, the the two verses that I'm going to share with you, they they repeat themselves twice at the beginning and then... I think in the end, they repeat themselves again, but I'm only going to share it with you once. And it says, bless me, bless me, bless me, God, indeed. Death has been defeated. He is our victory. Bless me, bless me, God, not just for me, but so everyone around me can have everything they need. Let all these folks that's with me, God, have everything they need. And like I said, that repeats again. And then he says, favor, favor, let it fall on me till I'm the conversation. Come on now, this will shout, shout you if nothing else of all my enemies. Can you imagine that God is blessing you with so much favor that you are the converse, topic of conversation amongst your enemies? Come on now. Favor, favor, God, not just for me, 
but so everyone around me can have everything they need. <sighs> Let all these folks that's with me, God, have everything they need. See, that's what I, t I knew I felt a hair on me. That's why I say when I pray and ask God for blessings and for fa favor, it's not just for Michelle. Uh -uh. I'm asking for all of God's children. I want everybody to be blessed and highly favored as well. And then... The song says, I shall live and not die. And I think in between each line, it says, because I got everything I need, or we have everything we need. And then he says, because Jehovah's by my side. Did I tell you he's a friend of mine? Lift him up, lift him up. Our God's got everything we need. And then it says, and I never should forget and again, it repeats because we got everything we need. He's never failed me yet, which he hasn't. Every trial, every test, we bless, we bless, we bless, we bless. Our God's got everything we need. Mm. And like I said, the song just continues to repeat. We got everything we need. And then it goes back and repeat the other verses that I shared with y'all. But honey, when I tell you, this song is so powerful. I have it in my playlist. I listen to it on repeat. And and like I said, I have a lot of songs in my playlist that just really do it for me. But this song right now is just, I don't know, it, it's just... It, it's just, it's just doing something for me, okay? Let me just say that. It is doing something for me. So I want you guys to take a minute and share with me what song or, or songs, if you want, are you listening to that are really moving you right now? Well, I, I really would like to know. So comment below. Let me know what songs are moving you. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, we serve a phenomenal God. I, I love the fact that we serve a God that, that can look past our faults and still see our needs and bless us anyway. Isn't that amazing? I've watched God do some remarkable things, not only in myself, but in his people. And it's just, it's just a phenomenal thing that, that, like I said, because man, mm, man doesn't do that. See, you act a fool and man will cut you off, honey. Man will just say, look, I'm done. I, you got to go. I'm done with you, but not God. God says, okay, I'm going to look past your faults because I see you have a need. And I'm going to bless you in spite of you. I'm going to forgive you when nobody else can forgive you. I'm not going to cut you off. God doesn't throw up his hands with us. Now, he might throw up his hands and go, Lord, have mercy. Here we go again. But he's not going to give up on you. So I just ask that you go out there and be a blessing to someone today. Find one person. Find one person on this thankful Thursday that you can be a blessing to. Just one. If you find more, that's great. But all I'm asking you to do is find one person that you can bless. And I'm not saying you have to necessarily give that person money because you don't always have to do that. But I want you to just find one person that you can bless. And I promise you, it'll make you feel so much better. Listen, that's my time, you guys. Thank you so much for allowing me to just share with you what's going on in my world. And yeah, I have some great things God is opening up some awesome doors in my life, and I'm just so excited about it. And don't forget, if you have not purchased your copy of my 21-day gratitude journal, please make sure you do that. Also, I need you to make sure you go on over to Amazon and purchase your copy of Love Knows No Boundaries. This time, we did not do an ebook, so it'll have to be, excuse me, an actual hard copy. So make sure you do that, okay? That's it, y'all. That's it. I just want you to know that I love you all to the moon and back. I want nothing but the best for you. I keep you lifting in my prayers. I know you're thinking, but Michelle, you, she don't even know me. No, I don't. I may not know you personally, but I still pray for you anyhow, because I pray for all of God's people. And just like the words of this song says, bless me now indeed, but not just for me, Lord, but for those around me that they can be blessed as well. And so I'm always asking God to bless you all as he's blessing me. And that's the way the world should be anyhow. Listen, love you all so much. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow with Friday's car conversation. Until then, take care.